Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today live from day three of Data Cloud Global Congress here in beautiful Monaco. And joining me is Stefan Jaforsa Tribe, uh, <laughs> who is the Director of Sales for Global Accounts. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, and we had a nice chat about that pronunciation of your last name, so I thought very hard about that. <laughs> I think you did awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, so just to kick things off, we'll just jump right in. You had um, some, some recent news uh, this week that came out about some, some certifications in some of your facilities. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're very happy for our um, recent 1401 certification. Um, for sustainability, both for our Swedish and our Icelandic sites. Um, and to us, that's very important because for we are truly dedicated to sustainability and a certification kind of gives a um, stamp uh, and also tells our customers that we are truly committed to helping them in their sustainability journey, yeah. but also that we are continuously trying to improve and decarbonize and be as good for the environment as we possibly can right. all through our operations both when we build and when we deliver our services and um, we will continue um, with our 14,001 certifications in all our sites as we uh, put more online uh, we have already been putting the application for for the newer sites coming up so this will be across the board uh, all over the board yeah, it's sustainability is such an important topic in our industry right now. There's so much need for expansion, but everyone is is really on board to do it in the in the most sustainable way possible and the best way for all of us going forward. Uh, so appreciate that, and and I understand that there's also a lot of expansion uh, on the on the books for you. You have a new data center campus in Helsinki. Can you tell us about that? We do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So um, we are actually. We now are in uh, three countries in the Nordics. We have five operational data centers um, and two under construction. Um, and we just um, recently acquired a location in, in Finland in the uh, Helsinki Internet Hub area in, outside of Helsinki in the ASPO okay. uh, yeah. uh, municipality. Um, and that one will be, be um, uh, initial stage will be about 15 megawatts to allow us to um, meet the requirements from our, our customers that are trying to become more sustainable by utilizing the Nordics as a location for high performance workloads and similar. Um, we see a lot of drive towards the Nordics uh, for a more sustainable and, and um, uh, environmentally friendly alternative for, for large workloads. Um, so in line with that, we're, we're trying to accommodate all the needs that we see in the market. Yeah, I feel like the Nordics are really um, leading the charge in a lot of ways on sustainable growth for our industry. And I agree. Yeah, and and you're so you, you mentioned expansions or the new data center campus in Helsinki, but also Iceland and beyond. What's, what's driving this growth? Well, it, it, like just like I said, it, it, it's a, you're seeing a push now. I mean, the environment is becoming more and more important for more and more companies and end users across the globe. Yeah. But also the recent um, uh, in hike in, in uh, power pricing and availability of power in, in certain markets are making companies see the options and the the, uh, the good environment for data centers in the Nordics. I mean, we have a perfect climate for it. Uh, we have plenty of power. Um, yeah. We are, as nations typically, very sustainable in our outlook. Um, and we as a company are 100% dedicated to trying to be part of the circular economy and to improve sustainability um, proposition, not only for us, but for our customers and help them in their sustainability journey. Yeah, and so, you know, we, we started by talking about certifications and and growth that's being driven by demand in the market but but also driven by the proposition that you're offering to the industry uh, and and geographically that that benefit but beyond that I think you're being recognized in other ways right I think you're up for is it four awards that you're up for it's actually five, oh, five. <laughs> yeah okay uh, we're also um, nominated in the um, location uh, category with uh, tech capital Oh, so yeah. um, it's a number of certifications. And um, what makes us the most proud is probably the um, 
categories that we are nominated in because it all comes down to our base proposition around sustainability, uh, being envi environmentally friendly. Um, it's how we build, how we operate, and how we design. There's two awards for the DCS and two for the, the ERD, or the, yeah. the, hard to say. Um, and they, they kind of follow this common theme of what we're trying to do, um, which is basically create um, data centers and a new path in the industry that is both sustainable and can accommodate um, the large uh, or the increased uh, demand for higher densities and the, the growing demand for capacity, both yeah. in, in globally but in the Nordic specifically. Yeah. Well, we'll be cheering you on. Hopefully, you. you'll I mean, you, hopefully you'll win. But you know, being shortlisted is is recognition of its own, and, and so congratulations. Thank you very for much. that. Uh, and and so you know, we're nearing the end of the week here. Mm -hmm. For those folks who may have missed you here in Monaco, how can they connect with you to to learn more? Either just uh, pop into our website, um, yeah. www.north.com, or if you guys are coming to ITW or any of the other events uh, this year, please just look us up. We'll be there. Uh, we're very happy to talk to you about sustainability, high performance, and any other demands you might have that we can help you solve. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Stefan. Thank you so yeah, much. it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, we'll see you again, hopefully, yeah, in a couple of weeks at ITW. We'll, we'll talk more. I hope so. Yeah. And, and thank you, viewers, for tuning in this morning to Data Cloud Global Congress, uh, where we are filming live JSA TV interviews uh, for the remainder of the morning. And we look forward to seeing you again in a few minutes when we continue with our live stream. Until then.